Uh, hey YouTube, it's Dorian. Uh, before we get started, just wanted to mention my Twitter at Dorian.slash. I post uh, a bunch of random stuff and links to all my videos. So if you're not following me uh, on Twitter, go ahead, follow me there, or subscribe on my YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the differences between a rolling release and a point release distro. Uh, point release distros are also called fixed point or standard, not fixed point, fixed release or standard release. Um, and a point release or standard release is what I've always used before using uh, Ubuntu. Before that I was using Mandriva. Before that I was using Mandrake. And um, I'll just start with the, uh, the standard or fixed or point releases. Uh, using Ubuntu as an example here. Uh, so what that means is every two years you're going to have a version come out that is LTS, long-term support. Um, there, there are other versions in between, but they're not supported as long. Um, you, you get to go in and try new software and whatnot, but it's you don't get the same support in the end. If you look again at the Ubuntu uh, end of life cycle. You have a little uh, graph here that shows you how uh, Ubuntu 16.04 LTS, which is the newest, gets supported for hardware and maintenance up until uh, three quarters into uh, 2018. And then after that, all you're getting is uh, maintenance updates. You won't get any more hardware updates. So at this point here is where you would have no choice but to upgrade your entire operating system to 18.04. And then you can see the ones here in between, 16.10, 17.04, 17 17.10, they're all very short standard releases. So it's always every two years and it's always on an even year, so 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Um, I have a box that's still using 14.04 and you can see that uh, the hardware uh, support has ended last year but it's running on the same hardware so I don't need any new hardware support because I'm running it on the same box. If I ever change it out to something newer then yeah I might go 16.04 or 18.04 but anyways um, so you've got two years of support on your, your kernel on a fixed release. Now this is just Ubuntu, other distributions might have a different long-term support uh, window. So um, whichever distribution you choose, just make sure you're aware of how long that LTS is actually supported. And uh, basically why you'd pick a standard release or a fixed release is for stability. Um, so you're going to have this LTS release come out that has been thoroughly tested, everything works, and you're going to have more stability than going with a rolling release. Um, before doing any more comparison, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the, the rolling release. So a rolling release is like Manjaro. Um, where your updates just constantly come in all the time. Every time there's a new version of something or, or a fix or whatnot, um, you get it right away. And so here's where sometimes you can get uh, a problem with uh, a new package or something new that uh, comes in that might have a bug in it or something that wasn't discovered right away and uh, so the downside is you might end up having to roll back your your package your software whatever is broken uh, roll it back to a previous version um, but the upside is everyone will be affected and uh, they're gonna come up with a fix fairly quickly and um, so other rolling release distros, uh, like I said, Manjaro, which is based on Arch, and um, and you also have Solus and OpenSUSE, but SUSE has two versions. They actually do something different. So they have their um, OpenSUSE Leap, which is a 
uh, LTS type of uh, framework and then they have tumbleweed which is a rolling release so they actually do both and you can just pick whichever one you want to download um, another thing with the rolling release when it's arch based especially you have um, the AUR so if I look here uh, let's see a package I have I have blender installed but let's just have a look here so the AUR is the um, Arch user repository. Most software you will find in the standard repositories for your distro, but there's also the AUR. The AUR you have to be a little bit more careful with. You'll find some some useful things, um, but the this is a user repository. All right, so you can see here. Uh, any use of the provided files is at your own risk and you can browse the packages um, now that there, there could be something malicious um, but it's more likely something that hasn't been thoroughly tested or something that's not completely stable that might uh, wreck something so but there is the possibility that there is something malicious so you never know so if you find a package or you're trying to install a certain piece of software and it happens to be in the AUR, uh, do a little Google investigation. See if anyone else has used it. Um, see how long it's been on there is another thing. Um, yeah, and then go from there. So this is my comparison I was talking about when I left talking about the fixed release with uh, Ubuntu. Uh, like GNOME for example. So if I go here and I go GNOME shell version, I'm using 3.26.2. Just the other day I was using 3.26.1. Um, Ubuntu 17.10 is using 3.26.1 and I don't think that's going to change. Uh, Ubuntu 16.04 I believe is using 3.18 not exactly sure I should have checked but anyways um, so you're basically stuck with what you have until your two-year cycle comes around and you um, update the entire OS to the next LTS version where it will upgrade everything all at once um, so that's kind of a downside that you, you don't get to have Cool new features that are out as soon as they come out um, but you're picking a fixed release or standard release uh, model for stability reasons so you basically just want to run your computer not worry about anything breaking so it it's good if you're new to Linux especially um, but don't be scared to pick a rolling release a rolling release will show you some cooler stuff and you'll always have the, the newest software. Um, another difference is Manjaro, for example, is community-based, and Ubuntu is a company, right? It's canonical. So there are some differences. I mean, Manjaro is just the one that I'm using. Not all rolling releases are, are community-based. So, and uh, what else? Uh, kernels. I'll show you the kernels. So in Manjaro, you can just go in here and you can download and install different versions of kernels like as they come out. Um, you'll want to, well, this is totally up to you, but I would suggest that you stick with uh, an LTS release, which right now is the 4.9.60-1. Um, 4.14 will be the next LTS release. Um, that's I'm running a, a version of 4.14 right now, but don't do it if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and another thing, if you're installing or testing a new kernel version, don't uninstall the old one, don't remove it, because in your boot up options, you can go to advanced and you can choose your old uh, kernel if you're if you're having any problems and then you can come back in here and remove the one that's causing you issues 
Um, yeah, but 14.14. Uh, it's Greg Crow Hartman. He, uh, he announced it. And the support is for two years for Linux kernels, but I heard a rumor that they're increasing it to six. I don't know if that's true. Um, do you want to change kernels? If everything works, don't. Um, if you're using the same hardware, you're not using any anything new that isn't working properly, um, just leave it if it's not broke. I mean, unless, unless you read about some feature that, you know, 4.13 brings to the table that you really need or you could use, um, then go ahead and try it. But I would suggest not. Um, Manjaro, I really like this little uh, kernel manager to let you install and uninstall things. Um, but yeah, if, if you don't know what you're doing, just leave it alone. <clears throat> so if I'm going to recommend anything for someone new to Linux, I'm going to recommend uh, Manjaro for a rolling release and Ubuntu for a standard release. Uh, Manjaro, like I said, is based off Arch, but Arch, if you're going to run pure Arch, you build it from the ground up, literally. And um, it reminded me a lot of the 90s, getting Linux started with Slackware. And uh, it would be fun, I guess, but um, just not into doing that anymore, partially through laziness. So, um, yeah. Manjaro does a lot of the work for you when it installs, so um, yeah, I would suggest doing that. Um, yeah, you can read about the 14.14 kernel, uh, more processor support, file systems, devices. It's got it's got a few new goodies, but I mean, <clears throat> if your system is running fine, don't upgrade. There's no reason for you to. So, but anyways, that is my little chat about uh, rolling releases and standard releases. Uh, like I said, this is my first rolling release. I like it. I like that uh, I get new versions of stuff to play with. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be coming up with a few more videos here, more focused on uh, um, newbies, I guess you want to say, people who are new to Linux, because I've, I've got some people uh, messaging me asking you know how to install um, a basic image onto a computer so I'm gonna I'm gonna get right into you know downloading the ISO put it on a USB and then do the whole installation not like the Linux from scratch custom desktop videos that I've already done but um, something uh, just standard that you do on your machine um, and that'll go with the dual booting video video that I've already put up so I'm going to do either Ubuntu GNOME or maybe Manjaro. I might do Manjaro. And uh, I have another Linux custom desktop from scratch video coming up. And I'm going to do the Manjaro version. And uh, it's going to be a little better because I'm going to you know, zoom in. And uh, it's going to be a little easier for you to see. The last video I wasn't doing the zoom and all that. I just kind of recorded it and threw it up there. And it was in a virtual machine. And... Um, I'm going to do it in a virtual machine again, uh, just because it's easier to record the screen. And uh, I have another video for Manjaro that I'm going to be posting up that's uh, going to be things that I've fixed. So there's a few little snags, things that I had to figure out how to get going to get a few things installed. Nothing major, um, just little tips and tricks. I posted them on my Twitter. There was uh, five or six things. And... Uh, yeah, other than that, I still have to do my version two or part two of Manjaro. Uh, my part one, I was just kind of playing with it for a little bit, and it's been a week as of today. Uh, I was on a virtual machine last Monday, and I don't remember if it was Monday evening or Tuesday that I installed the full blown thing, but um, still very happy with it still using it and um, I, I've only switched into Ubuntu twice this week and I think that was just to find some files that I had shortcuts for. I don't remember what it was but um, 
my system now is uh, triple boot so I've got Ubuntu still installed and then I've got Windows 10 installed as well so yeah anyways that's it I'm gonna stop rambling and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my videos to my channel if you want to keep seeing this stuff and if you want to get some updates on my video releases and kind of what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis head over to Twitter um, at Dorian.slash and I post a bunch of random stuff there and uh, you can always shoot me some questions here on YouTube shoot me some questions on Twitter I'm on both I'm actually on Twitter more often but um, yeah like it subscribe it and follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you guys next time <laughs>